Do you need new campaigns to improve your sales and lower your ACoS and you don't know where to look for for those targets? Luckily, there are different ways to do that. So my name is Orkan Duzgun and I'm the Advertising Manager here in Amazon Guy. And today we will be discussing different strategies to gather different keywords or different targets for your product so that you can basically increase your sales and decrease your ACoS. So we will be starting one by one and the strategies that we will be checking is the first one will be harvesting keywords from the auto campaigns. So this is usually the, the easiest one that you can do. And to do that, what we're going to do is that, let me just pull myself on the right hand side. And so to do that, what we, what we need is the search term keywords that we have and the current exact keywords. So that what we're going to do is just, we will just compare the search term keywords that we have from the auto and broad campaigns. And we will check if we are targeting those keywords in exact match or not. And if we are targeting them, that's good, perfect. But if we are not targeting them, that's an opportunity that we should be utilizing. So to get those numbers, what we should do is we should basically find out the the exact, uh, the, the bulk report. And from that bulk report, let me just open the bulk report real quick for you. So I have the bulk report over here. So from that bulk report, I will just go with the sponsored product only. And what we want to do is we just want to filter the exact match campaigns exact match keywords right so i just want to see the exact match and the enabled ones of course i don't want to see the post ones so let's go and remove those ones perfect so those are all the keywords that we know that we are targeting in exact match right so i'm just gonna copy them and i'll go over here and from that harvesting tab i'm just gonna paste it perfect oops I'm just gonna paste it. So this is the current exact keywords that I have. So to get the search term report, what we are going to do is just, we will also download the search term report from the account itself. And I already downloaded it, but if you don't know how to do it, you should go to, oh, for the bulk, you should go to the bulk operations and download the file. And for the uh, search term report, we're just going over here and downloading the search term report for sponsored product only for now. So the search term and just make it 30 days or 60 days it doesn't really matter so let's just download i just i already downloaded downloaded it and let me also show it real quick so this is all right perfect and this is the search term report that we have and from that one what i'm going to do is i will just check the targets that actually converted for us right so if the sales are greater than zero and I just want to find out the ones that have like decent takeoffs I don't want to go super crazy for those ones uh, there are so many targets so let's just say that choose less than let's say 80 percent right okay perfect so the highest ACOS we have is 79 percent okay perfect so what I'm going to do is I know that those targets are converting and those targets are profitable or they are something that I can basically control. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste them on the search term keywords. And there are some ASINs that I don't want to see them. So by just doing that, the B column, like starting with B0, usually is an ASIN. So I'm just going to take those ones out for now just because I'm not going to, I'm not going to show you that. But of course we can also use them uh, perfect so we have the search term report like the, the keywords from the auto campaigns and the current exact campaigns and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use a vlookup and i will be looking for this keyword and i will be searching for my current exact campaign keywords that i have and this way what i'm going to do is so i just want to make sure that this doesn't change and I want to say if error, if there is an error, say not being advertised, All right? Perfect. This way, I'm just gonna apply it. And here are the keywords. So the age of sage, we don't have it in exact match. That's interesting. So basically what we are seeing is that, for example, find a wine glass. We have this keyword in exact match. This is what it says. So if we, if we search it, you will see that we will find one in the B column B and here it is. So this way we find out the keywords that we should be basically targeting for the, 
for the for the exact campaigns. So the keywords that you should target is the ones that are not being advertised. So you can basically say that, for example, this one, this one, this one. So like all of these or those ones, like everything over here, we should be targeting them in exact match. So this is number one. This is like the basic, the most basic way to do it, but it is super efficient that we should be using it. And the second one is uh, finding out new long tail exact keywords from Helium 10. So I don't wanna make this uh, video super long just because it would take so much time to do a keyword research and there are plenty of resources that you can check. But basically what we want to do is we just wanna log into the Helium 10, find out like use the keyword research tool and just use your competitor raisins or just use your similar keywords and find out different, different keywords. And we will have like a separate video about this one, but for this one, like for this specific video, I don't want to go into the details of Helium 10. Okay, so the third one uh, is, is something specific again about Helium 10. So as, as we already know, we have, we have the ASINs and we have the organic ranking for those ASINs and for specific keywords. Uh, what we want to do is we just want to, far, we just want to find out the keywords that we are organically ranking for between 10 to 15 or 20 to 15 depending on like uh, what 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 your range would look like but let's say from 20 to 15 we just want to find out those keywords we, just, we want to filter those out uh, we want to filter those keywords out and then basically we want to make sure that we are targeting them in exact match so i'll just i'm just trying to log into helium tad so that i can show you real quick but all right so we have the helium 10 open I'll just right, go into the Cerebro and from there, let's just use one of our races we have. So this is the Megapint, one of our best sellers. So what we're going to do is we'll just make sure that we're searching Amazon.com and do, let's just make, let's just do the search. So from there, what we want to find out is the keywords that we are organically ranking high enough, but we are not ranking like in the last pages or something we just want to make sure that we are focusing somewhere around you can change those numbers by the way depending on how many keywords you will have at the end but i just also want to make this one 500 i just don't want to see like super low search volume keywords and here are the keywords that we really want to focus just because for example pirate drinkware this is like we have a 20, uh, organic ranking of number 21 and we might or might not have a sponsor rank just because Helium 10 is not the greatest when it comes to just showing those numbers in most up-to-date way. But basically we know that those keywords are the ones that we should be focusing on just because they are high enough to advertise but not super low so that like we can just we cannot omit them so what i'm going to do is i'm just gonna take everything out and i will be exporting this data just export it out and of course oops okay uh you also want to see the search volume but for now i'm not gonna do it i'm just gonna copy everything and let's just paste it to our helium 10 data okay let's just create a new one right Ashton strike zone perfect strike zone keywords so those are our strike zone keywords and from those keywords what we really want to do is we want to do the same right we want to find out the keywords in exact match and we want to see if we are targeting those keywords so the formula will be the same we will be checking those ones and from here to here should be enough so by just looking at this data i can easily say that we are not targeting anything from this exact match campaign meaning that uh, from the strike zone keywords meaning that those are all the opportunities that we should be utilizing this should help you to lower your echoes just because uh, amazon is basically already telling us that those keywords are working for us we are organically ranking for those keywords so if they don't have like super low search volume we can definitely do that and since we filtered them out by at least 500 search volume then those keywords should bring some uh, low echo sales for us. So we have those keywords. We should be targeting everything for the harvesting tab. We have some of them that we should be targeting. So you can just filter them out. Like the not being targeted ones are the ones that we should be focusing on. Like those ones, I'm not gonna select everything, but the formula works like this one. So you can write your own formula, but this is like a super basic VLOOKUP formula. So 
what we did was we find out the harvested keyword we find out the long tail keywords from helium 10 so basically let me just go back to that one real real quick so we just want to use the that, 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 that. where is that key magnets yes we just want to use the keyword tracker so i'm just gonna say mega pints and from there let's just find out the targets that we can actually use so i can use mega pint i can use tumblr stainless steel wine and bear tumblr so um from there then just find out the keywords that would that would make sense for us and then harvest them out put them in an exact campaign and just use it so this is like another video that we'll be focusing on but basically this is what i mean third one is using cerebro finding out the strike zone keywords and targeting them super specifically and the fourth one is utilizing the search query performance report so that we can use this report to find out the keywords that we are not exact like we are not targeting an exact match to do that you want to head over to the seller central from there go to brand brand analytics and just use search analysis this part so those are the keywords that we really want to focus on right so those are the keywords let's make it monthly 2022 doesn't really matter but let's make it quarterly okay perfect so i just want to make sure this is like 100 rows and basically those are the keywords that amazon is telling us that we are ranking for those keywords so amazon thinks that those keywords are the ones that we that we are really utilizing in ads or either in organic searches and sales so what we really want to do is we just want to copy everything over here of course it would change like you should also be checking the search volume and everything but i already copied it by the way what we want to do is we just want to copy everything from here you can take like 100 you can take top 200 you can you can go however you like like depending on how many keywords you need then what we want to do is we just want to apply the same methodology that we have been applying for harvesting like harvesting or helium 10 strikes on we will be copying those keywords and we will be finding out if we are targeting those keywords in exact match or not if we are not targeting them we should definitely be targeting them and if those are like root keywords like sage like white sage smudge kit or smudge then what we should do is we should also um, we should also consider running broad match broad modifier match or phrase match for those ke uh, keywords but of course that depends on you but right now i just want to focus on the exact keywords and this way we will have a search query performance report keywords that that we can basically use and this should bring us some sales if we are not already targeting them and those like hopefully we will be seeing some low break costs on those targets and last but not least what we have is this is something that we are really utilizing in my amazon guy and what we are doing is we are checking the sponsor product search query performance and we are checking if we are targeting those in sponsor brands keyword or asin targets what i mean by is something like this so let's just open another sheet and let's just call it sp versus sp right so from there what we want to do is we just want to get the bulk this is str this is bulk right perfect no not the bulk i'm sorry yeah the search term report i need the search term report this is bulk let's just close this i don't need that and actually okay perfect so i'm just gonna take everything from here again sp search terms and we also want to download the sp search terms to see if we are matching with those targets so this is the sp search terms right we know that we have converted from those targets what we want to do is we just want to head over to the, the, the reports again and from there do we have it sponsor brand if we have it i don't want to download it again so sponsor brand sponsor brand sponsor brand attributes okay anyways I'll download any one search term so we just want to download the search term just make it last 65 days so you have more data sp str 65 let's just run this report and also uh in the perfect scenario what we also want to do is we want to download the same report 
for sponsor brand video just because sponsor brand and sponsor brand video has like different um, drop downs and from there you should be also download, downloading the search term from like for the video and for the regular sponsor brand campaigns so let's just wait for this one to be complete and it's completed let's download this and from there what i want to do is again i want to find out the keywords that we have let's go with something like this let's copy call the customer search term and put it on the sp search terms right perfect and by the way we can also get the sale like sales numbers which would be even better let's do that let's go back to the sp sdr this was the search terms and this is the sales perfect this is the sales and those are the sp search terms and what we want to do is we just want to find out let's go with the best seller to the release seller and i don't want to okay that's fine let's keep the asins for now and what we want to do is we want to do the same so but this time the question is different is it's not going to be targeted in exact or not it's going to be targeted in sponsor brand campaigns or not right and this way what we will do is so i want to search our sponsor product term and i want to search in my sponsor brand targets and this way perfect again we have found plenty of keywords that we can target while they have the same number okay so for example what we can see over here is that organic organic bath solves so we know that we are targeting or at least we are targeting maybe the broad match of it maybe we are targeting bath soaps maybe we are targeting organic soaps but basically what we are seeing is that we are seeing the search term both in sponsor product and sponsor brand this means that we are targeting this keyword so we we are not missing any opportunities on the sponsor brands but looking at the rest of it for example stage candles for cleansing house so for this keyword what we are seeing is that we have a huge number of sales coming directly from the sponsor brand but we are not basically targeting this keyword in sponsor brand anywhere so as you can see we have three different searches and we don't have it any in sponsor brand this doesn't necessarily mean that this is not a uh, this is not a good like this is a good target or not just because maybe we tried this target and it didn't work and we paused it or maybe we optimized it like it doesn't always mean that a keyword that works in sponsor product will also work in sponsor brand but this is basically uh this is basically like showing you what are the targets that you might be utilizing and basically you might be generating some sales at least maybe half of the sales that you're generating from sponsor brand a sponsor product maybe you can generate in sponsor brand so this way we were able to find out five different strategies to increase your sales by creating new campaigns and making sure that the echoes is low so this is the end of this video if you have any questions drop them in the comment section so that we can answer them and we will see you on the next one